Hey guys, and welcome back to Outlast. Let's finally try and put this Billy character down, shall we? And free ourselves of this uh, nightmare. Well, we've got a save point, which is generally a bad thing. Okay. Look at all this fluid, this juice. Well, we don't want to think about this juice. All we want to think about is killing Billy. Sounds terrible when you put it like that, but uh, as Miles said previous, it is a kindness. The kindest thing anyone could do for this poor kid. After all, he has not exactly had a good time his entire life. The modern Prometheus. From the personal records of Dr. Wernicke, Frankenstein, or the modern... Oh. Learn from me, if not uh, my precepts, at least by example, um, or precepts, I should say. Uh, how dangerous is the acquirement of knowledge, and how much happier that the modest man, how much happier that the modest man than he who aspires to become greater than his nature allows? Yeah. Yeah, well, you know. <sighs> Ignorance is bliss and all that. Right, here's the first first valve. Cut off the electricity in the sub lab generator. Right, that's pissed off Billy a little bit. Because now he's swimming in his own juices. So, next is the sub lab generator, which is. I don't know. But we're about to find it, I hope. We're just gonna fucking book it all the way. Right, if I was a sub lab generator, where would I be? Oh, there's our happy friends still. Possibly up here. Sub lab generator. Oh, yep. It's open now. Oh, God. Oh, I guess we're squeezing through. Just keep moving it, Miles. Don't look back. Don't look back. We can do this. I have all the confidence and faith in you, my friend. Which, to be fair, is not that much, but still, it, it's, it's the best you're going to get, buddy. Soon you'll be sitting down, drinking tea, with a nice cigar, or maybe a nice glass of bourbon. Life will be good. You have crazy stamina, my friend. Which is good. Which is good. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Always moving. Forever moving. Just keep running. Oh, crap. Caught up. Oh, he caught up to us. The little dickhead. Well, that was unfortunate now, wasn't it? That was very unfortunate. Alright, let's try that again. Once more feeling. I kind of bollocked us, to be fair. Right. Now, in this reality, Billy, you're going to have to do better. Because failure, my good man, is not an option. Luckily, I don't think he can come in here. Which is nice. He can, however, come up here, I believe. But we're hopefully... Oh, I'm not going to give him the chance. Just tear all that shit out. Right. Now, Billy. You should be fucked. And not the good kind of fuck. I'm talking the whole shebang. What's that? Oh, he sounds like he's wailing. Wail away, Billy. Sing me the song of your people. Although I've had quite enough of that, to be fair. No new notes to take? I guess not. Alright, let's get out of here. Now, I don't know if that actually deactivates the wall rider. I couldn't tell you. 
It looks like it has. Nope, he's back. Oh God. Uh, excuse me, Billy. No, 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 no. That's quite enough of that. That is quite enough of that, Billy. You have been a very naughty boy. And I'm about to pull the plug on your ass. And you only have yourself to blame. No, 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 no. I don't want to hear it. This is your fault, Billy. And not only are you dying, you will be going to bed with no supper. Before you die, of course. Hit that switch. Hit that damn switch. Good night, Billy. Good night. Oh dear. This is gonna get worse before it gets better. Come on, record every last audio. Oh that looked painful. Oh shit. Please get out of my body. Oh dear. Well, he is now inside us. Or is he? Is he inside us? Or did he die just in time? Well. Fuck you, Billy. I beat you. I beat you, buddy. Enjoy your death. Enjoy your death. Death of hope. Billy is dead. The wall rider, the swarm, whatever it is, unmade with him. Whether I escape or die here, I am free. Yep. What a strange few hours it has been. Let's get the fuck out of here. Just keep thinking of that nice glass of bourbon. Mm mm mm. We'll have a nice big stogie to go with it as well. One of those ones that you can stink a whole room out with. Yes, a nice fine Cuban. I don't know if we're going... No, we're not going the right way. Oh yeah, we've got to go back up here, haven't we? Fuck you, Billy. And there's the other one. The other failed experiment. You know, in a way, you kind of feel sorry for these guys. They didn't want to be here. But then... You know, the world is cruel and unf unforgiving. It's alright, buddy. Get up. You're fine. That's just the internal bleeding. The broken bones. And the fact that you soiled yourself, probably. But apart from that, you're fine. I am sure. Sweet, sweet freedom. Come on, buddy. Come on. It's alright. You've got this. Come on. Freedom is not that far away now. You almost taste that air. What kind of mountain is this, anyway? It's like a chalk mountain or something. Very white. You know, I always thought it was ice. So close now, buddy. So close. Come on. Hey, guys! Um. Well. So much for that, I guess. Got him. You have become the host. Whoa. Now punished. Now, 
I really bloody enjoyed that game. I also... I remember the ending. I knew we died. I knew we got shot by a crack team of, you know, idiots. But I kind of forgot that the, that last uh, that last line there that we had become the host. Hmm. And that we got to exact our revenge. Interesting stuff. Now, I actually really really enjoyed that game the second time round. I mean, I mean, technically I've watched most of another Let's Play of it as well. So is it fair to say almost third time round? Um. What a strange, strangely paced game, though. The weird transition towards the end from this grimy kind of um, horror um, experience, shall we say. And then right at the end, you get, you get down to this very clinical kind of modern um, high-tech kind, of, uh, kind of dealio with nanomachines and things. It's really, really bizarre. It's really strange. And uh, when I was playing it with my my mate, we were kind of thinking that it just it didn't feel right. It didn't fit. Um, and on reflection uh, of a second time through, I still don't think it fits very well. It's really bizarre. I mean, it's good because it's very unlikely that you're going to guess the ending or, or which direction the ending goes in, I should say. But um, yeah, there's just there's something that just doesn't sit right with me for the ending. However, the game, the game is, is really good. It's really short. Uh, apart from the first two videos, I have finished that in one sitting again. Um, a nice, lazy Sunday. Lovely. Um, but yeah, I, I would say it holds up quite well. Uh, it's a lot more forgiving than I remember. I remember dying a hell of a lot more. Now, having said that, I was playing on the PlayStation 4, so, you know, the frame rate wasn't as good and you have to fumble around with a control pad. Uh, playing with a keyboard is always easier, at least in my experience. But, yes, so, coming up next, um, we're going to do the Whistleblower DLC. Now, I've never played that, so that's all going to be blind. And um, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what that's about. I'm hoping we're going to find out a lot more story because the story was kind of thin on the ground. I mean, you got a lot of backstory and, and it was more about the patients, yada, yada, yada. But I'm more interested in the technical side of, of, of what's been going on here with the nanomachines and stuff. And they briefly touched on it, like as lightly as they possibly could at the end there. Um, I kind of first time round thought that the fact that you get killed at the end was kind of cheap but you know what i i think it works i think it works on reflection um i'm i'm not sure whether i want to play out last two never say never i did play the demo of it and i thought it was shit um but that was before i played so many decent uh horror games like this i mean so many i only really played Summer. Summer, I would say, was good. Um, Penumbra. Was it Penumbra that I played? Um, or Amnesia? Amnesia I wasn't a fan of. There's something about that that just didn't click. Um, I don't know. I just It was very boring, very dull, very linear. The narrative was all right. But the actual game itself was meh, to say the least. I just... There was something about it that just... It felt really primitive, I think, is the best way to say it. You know, the fact where enemies would chase you and enemies would always spawn, like, in front of you. But once you got so far away from them, they would despawn. And once you kind of learnt that, um, how that mechanic worked, you could exploit it so easily. Now, obviously, this game and uh, Soma, to my knowledge, didn't suffer with that. So once you knew that you could despawn enemies by getting away from them, um, or even getting killed by them, I believe, if memory serves. Yeah, if you got killed and you kind of like respawned at a checkpoint, that enemy that killed you would be gone. Very, very strange stuff. I don't know why this is stuck on a, on a loading screen. That's kind of annoying. 
Very annoying, actually. Hmm. Well, anyway, as I said, coming up next will be the Whistleblower DLC, which I'm actually really bloody interested in seeing how that's going to pan out this time. Yeah, very much so. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that game, this game with me, guys. Um, if there's anything after this loading screen, I actually can't remember, or if the game's crashed, I will kind of edit it in at the end of this. But um, failing that, hopefully, if you enjoyed this, you'll catch me in the next series for Whistleblower. Until then, guys, thanks for watching.